Tonight, houses of worship are taking a big hit because of COVID-19, which is only adding to the steady decline of membership over the past two decades. The pandemic forced many services to go virtual, and many people continue to stay away from praying in person. Our reporter Ali Tui tonight going in depth to explore how religious organizations are faring as we head into the fall and another potential surge in COVID cases. Being with people and, and being able to receive Jesus in the Eucharist are my uh, my great delights. Attending Mass inside St. Pius X Roman Catholic Church in Getzville feels more like home to parishioner Therese Ketterer. Very, very good to be back. The 74-year-old from Williamsville has been a parishioner here for 42 years. She says she isn't taking in-person services for granted since the church reopened last June. I've been here every single day since I'm retired, so I'm able to be here. And I thank God that we are able to freely come back. Lord our God, we come before you now. Father Robert Wozniak says not all were as eager to attend in-person services once again, but attendance is slowly increasing. When you see somebody that hasn't been here for 18 months, they cry because they're back home. And it's nice to see that. According to a recent May 2021 Gallup poll, religious in-person attendance is rebounding, but COVID's impact has been significant. In 2020, attendance fell to an all-time low in more than eight decades of Gallup tracking. However, the poll shows it is up 3% from a year ago. 20% report attending services in person compared to 10% who remain remote. However, overall attendance remains lower in 2021 than in 2019. Experts say a Full rebound may not occur. It has been a trying year. David Goldberg is the board of trustees president for Temple Beth Zion, the largest Jewish synagogue in western New York. He says they began offering in-person services over the summer after being strictly virtual for the better part of a year. Goldberg says attendance isn't what it was pre-pandemic. About half the people that would, were zooming in are starting to come here and we're still making sure that we can do virtual to allow them to see it too. Like many religious organizations, Temple Beth Zion has seen a steady decline in membership over the last several decades. Goldberg says membership is down 10% in the last year, but it stems from a number of factors, not because of COVID specifically. Some are political, some are social, some are financial, and some are COVID. And that member decrease has financial consequences. After all, Temple Beth Zion relies heavily on membership dues. There's a financial hit. You know, people wonder, like, why do I have to continue to pay dues if I can log in from home and watch services all over the country from other, from other synagogues? but the impact hasn't been near as bad as we thought it was. The temple has a COVID task force, which Goldberg says plans to continue meeting for the foreseeable future. He says they also plan to offer virtual services indefinitely. We do have members that have expressed, I can't come out. I don't want to come out. Our safety of our congregants is utmost. St. Pius X also plans to continue offering virtual services. While attendance is down, donations are not. Father Wozniak says those remain flat. Wozniak hopes the rise in COVID cases doesn't have a major impact on church services, but he says time will tell. What does the church forecast for the fall? What do you think things will look like? That's a good question, and we need to be safe, and that's our first priority. And Jeff, both houses of worship tell me that they have increased cleaning, which means an additional expense. They say they estimate it in the thousands, but they say money is no object if it means keeping those in attendance safe. All right, thank you. Our Ali Tui reporting live tonight.